So all these, all these um, giant footprints that are around all over the place. And you can see these people here next to this one. They said he was almost 20 foot tall. Okay, and this is supposedly the house that he lived in. And that he could have, that he put in this rafter here at the top. And you can maybe see the size of the person that's right here. That if you put him at 18 foot, he'd be about this tall. And then you'd have to put that in. This is the interior of that same area. This is not the same area. This is like the giant circle, I think, that's found on the side of the Sea of Galilee. And it's uh, like the size of Stonehenge, but it's supposedly made by giants. The same can be said about Glastonbury. This is a giant mound that's um, literally the size of the Temple of the Moon at, uh, in Mexico. It's, it's, it's where King Arthur was buried. And there was a curious inscription found in the 1600s that said Arthur, and not Arthur with a U, but Arthur. So maybe that has some revelation to Thor himself, but it said Arthur was buried here. And people have said, oh, well, he wasn't born buried at Avalon. He was born here, buried here. And um, there's another story. Um, from locals that say that the mound that they actually built the king's church on here at the top was the burial mound of a giant and that it took 140 people to move him into his burial place and that the wood involved in required eight boats I'm not sure if those are little canoes or the bigger things they don't describe they don't describe what the 140 people do. They say that a giant's buried there, that it took 140 people and eight boats worth of stuff, I guess, to make his burial chamber, whether that's the chamber in a coffin or what, but huge. This mound is like 260 foot tall, something like that, but the circumference of it is giant. It's almost the size of the Great Pyramid. So I was looking up this theory, and there's all these reports of giants, and Giants and their strange skeletons found. You can pause it and look at each one of these, though. These stories of Indians and stuff uh, that people have found um, through time. McLeod Brothers find this. Something. Check this one out here. Let me pause it real quick. Knightstown, Indiana. Skeleton is more than seven feet in length, and the skull has horns about an inch and a half long, projecting upward from the point just behind the ears. Several similar skeletons have been found here in the past few weeks. All peculiar bones are found in gravel. They have these bones. And they found a race of giants and stuff that apparently lived in North America. Now they used to collect these all the time. Over in, uh, in Europe and stuff. And they would uh, parade them around in um, some of the churches. And say that they were actually the bones of a giant from the Nephilim. Are that they were a bone uh, up in Roman times. They were, there's many accounts. I can find them for you where they talk about in the churches of having bones of these giants that used to be warriors of men of renown that they would actually have in their... Um, and they got rid of these things at the start of the Dark Ages. And uh, a lot of them were figured out later to have probably have been dinosaur bones. But then again, you look at something like this and it makes you wonder... Um, there's a scale portrait of this one bone that did not get taken by the Smithsonian. And there you go right there. It's a giant femur. So giants, you know, Goliath, people like that. 